Well, you've had a couple of month, uh, months now to get to know Michael Bunting, but what did you know about him before the season started, before he joined the uh, To be honest, not much. Um, but he seems like he's got, you know, he's got the most energy in the world. He's, he's always moving, always going. Um, you know, he's got, you know, really good hockey sense and, um, you know, he makes some incredible plays out there. You know, that, that's, that's on top of the motor that he has. So, um, he's been great for us. Spent some time with Austin last year on a few, in a few games, uh, on a line together. Uh, what can you take from that experience last year that's kind of helped you in this role? This I'll just give him the puck. Pretty much. Um, I'm not trying to do anything special out there. Um, you know, I think I just want to play responsible. Um, you know, do what I got to do on the on the four track, and you know, getting pucks to Austin, loosening them up, and you know, kind of creating space. So, um, you know, that's all I'm trying to do here. Wayne, uh, it looked like Jake wasn't took a spill as soon as he stepped on the ice with someone. Going up the uh, no, we got too many injuries as it is right now. Um, I, I think what happened was he has, he's got a brand new pair of wheels on today, and I don't think they got sharpened. So, um, oh. yeah, he steps on the ice and he wipes out. So it was actually pretty funny. What kind of challenge does uh, Tampa present to you guys? Um, back to back Stanley Cup champs. They're playing great hockey um, right now. I know they have a few guys out, but. You know, I think they have that next man up mentality where guys just come into the lineup or they get shifted around in the lineup and they still play great. So, um, you know, they're an unbelievable team. You know, I think it's cliche, but managing pucks against them is, you know, what's key. You know, they got an unbelievable transition game. And, um, you know, if you don't do the right things with the puck, they're going to, you know, it's going to cost you. There's a lot of hockey still to go with you guys. Tampa and Florida are all at the top of the division right now. Jockey, it seems every night conscious of that little uh, race going on right now? Yeah, um, obviously I think, like you said, there's a lot of hockey to go, so you don't want to kind of put too much stock in it, but at the same time, um, I think you're aware of it. And, um, you know, those are, you know, especially tonight, it's a huge game. It's a four-point game, a divisional rival, so um, we got to make sure we come, you know, from the start of the game and we're playing a full 60-minute effort tonight. Hey, wait, is there any frustration for you guys when uh, we see what happens Sunday in, in, in Winnipeg and you kind of have to please yourself if things aren't getting called and then the result now is you lose a player of Casey Scott or 16? Yeah, obviously, I think if, you know, it's handled correctly from the start, there's none of that stuff happens. But, you know, it is what it is at this point. Um, you know, we can't dwell on it. You know, we just got to make sure, um, you know, I think Spuds has missed one game, so we got five more games. You know, we're playing for Spez and Sandy and Mitchie, and those guys are out of the lineup right now. So, um, you know, I think that's what's at the, you know, the forefront of our heads, and you know, that's how it's going to continue to be.